Good morning, guys. We just got everything fueled up, ready to go. I got Matt here. He's going to help out. How's Good morning, Matt. Good morning. He's taking the spot in Carnado's place. And then Bolt, you ready to go, big cat? Yep. God dang, you got the limited Ram 3500 diesel Cummins. Sure. Holy biscuits and Maybe. gravy. You got new tires on here. Are these mud and tires I see? Yep. God dang, he's got the plow prep. So this is going to be our plow truck. You got the mirrors up for extra horsepower boost. <laughs> um, I kind of broke them. So now they're not up. I got you. Yeah, just keep them, keep them out like that. But the first one we're going to do, we're doing that baseball field again. So yeah, it I... got sprayed for weeds last week. And then it got some late summer fertilizer on it. So it should be, should be popping. They said it grew a bunch with all this rain. So yeah. All right, Bolt, just follow me. Matt and, Matt and I will lead the way. Got it. Yeah, so like I said, it rained a bunch. So that's why you didn't see a mowing Monday or you didn't see a, mow a mowing video on Monday like we usually do because we got rain. What is it? Today's Wednesday. We got rain Sunday and Monday. Things were way too wet Tuesday and then they finally dried out. Uh, and then here this morning, we think they're ready to go. So things have overgrown and we needed a lot of water and we got, I think, five, six inches in total, which is quite a bit. And it's really saturated the ground. So we needed to give it a day to take up some sun. And it just grew. As you can tell, you can just see all this grass around here. Super overgrown. It's been just a crazy three days of just growing. Which is good to see because some of the grass was starting to turn. At least some that d doesn't get any shade. It's been super hot. Super A lot of stress on the grass. So it's good to see we got some rain in here. Give the grass a little bit of a break. But we're going back to that baseball field. And we're going to knock that out. Hopefully, we can get some good stripes with this nice wet grass. When we go over it, it's going to lay it down. And uh, and hopefully, it looks really good when we stripe it. I think we'll go diagonal in the outfield. Oh, yeah. There it is. So overgrown. Looks like the infield has a bit of grass growing in the sand there. That's not good. All right. We got our work cut out for us. That's going to be a pretty thick cut. But it shouldn't be too bad. And I hopefully dried out enough. There isn't any big wet spots back there. And there we go. Let's get busy, boys. I'm running the deer. All right, Matt, you can take the Toro. Bolt, All right. Running the Kubota. Yep. Very nice. All right, guys. I think in the in the outfield, let's go let's go diagonal, and and we'll go diagonal on it, make it look really nice. It should be able to make some good stripes because it's fairly wet from all the rain we've had. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. If you get clogged up in your deck, just just make sure to stop, and, and so we aren't so we're shooting evenly. All right. Follow me, guys. Yep. Let's get to work. Look at how thick this is. It's grown so much. Holy cow. It's like all of a sudden you look at a cornfield and it's just hip high. And the other day it was knee high. There we go. Start up the old deck. Freshly sharpened blades. We had two, three days off of work. So went in there, sharpened it. all the blades. They needed sharpened too. Got uh, everything. One of the tires was leaking air. So I noticed we had a bit of a weird cut going. Changed oil and everything and got pretty much everything up to working order. But it's really nice having three of us on this field because there's quite a bit of grass that needs uh, done past the past the, the field and beyond. So there's there's quite a bit more grass than just the baseball field. And it's just nice to have three of us. Bolt, I think he's splitting off today. He has five residentials he needs to knock out. And then I have, I think I have two after this baseball field. So we'll be busy today and maybe possibly the high school i think needs mode but i don't know if that's bolt show. here we go we'll go up on the warning track here but the business has been growing a bunch and i'm i'm thinking we're going to open up a shop here in georgetown as well now i had i've been running the shop out of cj's dealership the de dealership that i work at and i think it's about time we've been growing a bunch getting a bunch of commercial contracts so it, contracts like this where it's not a residential it's not like a small small yard it's not even like a small acreage it's it's pretty big stuff like we did the courthouse that was paid very well that's the plan i think it's striping really good the sun isn't fully out yet this morning so hopefully we'll be able to see the stripes when the sun comes out a little bit more all right i'm gonna take that diagonal shot see how do we you know what maybe we'll go up to the foul line then we'll start making the diagonal cross and if you enjoy mowing videos let me know by smashing the like button this one's gonna be pretty interesting i'll show you how we make these awesome stripes once the sun comes out i can show you a little bit better on how we actually do it so you can do it yourself as well you'll just need a really nice zero turn and uh and some fertilizer but i'll explain that a little bit later once we get the get everything mowed and get everything looking real nice all right let's make this diagonal cut right here there we go this is what i'm gonna shoot for that when when people drive by they're gonna be able to see it i always like to change it up to you so like next week we'll make it at a different angle so if say you drove by both roads then you'd be able to see uh you'd at least be able to see both of them one obviously better than the other but it'll kind of look like a checkered board if that makes sense in two weeks from now so 
There we go, looking good. The John Deere's running super good. I noticed everything's cutting so clean after I sharpen the blades, and it looks good. So I'm gonna run a time lapse here, guys. Enjoy. They're knocking out the infield, and I'm gonna knock out the outfield. Right, guys looks good looks really good everybody pack up we can head back to the trailers all right i'll follow you yep just watch out for the watch out for the infield because it's it i almost got stuck in there but try and stay go in the infield don't let's try and get off the grass follow the stripes all right and then uh yeah no no don't that's the wet spot man come on matt go 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 it, it's it's slipping oh, oh it's stuck my goodness well, shut it off. It's there's there's like a few wet spots and you just sunk yeah. into the oh look at how muddy it is. Well, I yeah. thought I'd try and like see how far I could make it type of thing, but that didn't work out in my favor. Yeah, I I was gonna go on the infield, but then I was like, a lot of it is really wet. So, all right, well, let's. Do we want to push him forward or pull him back? I think push him forward because he has. He, I think go. I, mean, I made it. Yeah. All right here. He, he only has a little bit more. But I just cleaned these off two days ago, Matt. I sharpened the legs. Yeah, I'll power them off. wash them all when we get back. Okay, that sounds good. All right, okay. Bolt. Lock arms here, man. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Push, push, push. Oh, I'm slipping. Go, go, go. All right, he's good. All right, we're out. There we go. Nice. I'm covered in mud now, but I know these zero turns. I wonder if these tubeless tires actually, or airless tires is what you're supposed to call them, if they actually help the mud, but I don't know. Probably one thing with these tires, if you do get stuck, you can't, you can't deflate them to get extra traction, but honestly, probably deflating them, a big old zero turn tire like that doesn't, doesn't probably do a whole lot, but and you might just tear up the grass even more. So we're gonna get these loaded up here and then we'll head on to a residential, possibly the high school. I still have to talk to Bolt about that and we'll get going here. I'm gonna shoot right behind Bolt. There we go. We thought we might as well throw two of the zero turns on the dually. It just can hold it more, but honestly, both these trucks, I'm sure we could have probably eight of these zero turns on there and it wouldn't be a big deal at all. All right, boys, looks good. Help them fold up the ramp there. Very nice. Our setups just look so good. We need a shop to go with it. So I think that's what I'm going to invest in next. I got pretty much all my equipment we would ever need. And we just need a shop here in Georgetown because this is where I'm getting all my new accounts, all my new contracts. And it's uh, it's a lot better than when we were at CJ Boats and at Clover Creek. So Georgetown, I think, is the new place. And the baseball field looks amazing. All right, guys, the sun came out and the stripes are starting to show. It's kind of hard to see ground level. But if I go up in the bleachers... And show you guys what I'll do just real quick because I want to show you how good the stripes actually turned out. I think they turned out pretty good. Here, let's run up the bleachers, get a get a higher up shot. There you go. You can see them. You can see them pretty good from here. I'm on the top row, so that's pretty awesome. And the baseball field looks really, really good after we got those stripes in. So if you guys want to know how to actually do it, so obviously in farm sim, it's like when you drive the mowers over it, this isn't gonna happen, these kind of stripes. But how I did it is this John Deere tractor right here. So we put a small compact sprayer on the back, one that's kind of like the width of a mower, even though that's a bit bigger. But if you fertilize that, make sure the field isn't 100% fertilized. Here, I better shut it off. But make sure the field isn't 100% fertilized so that when you come by, it has a darker texture and it looks like it's trapped. So that's how we pulled it off. I wanted to show you guys so that if you want to do it on your own, you can. And, uh, and for those who wanted to learn how to do it on their own and you watch this far into the video, Thank you, and uh, and hopefully you guys can do it on your own. I think the baseball field is like the perfect place to have the best looking stripes, and it's always really, really cool to see a, a baseball field that's like fully done. So they're pulling out of there now, getting all loaded up, and there she is. Here, I'll jump up all the, here. You can see it perfectly. So that's how I did it. I think it looks awesome, and there's almost like these stripes right here too, or at least these like dead spots kind of, like lighter spots that kind of are pretty cool too. So... Pattern looks awesome. Baseball field is up to par because just two weeks ago, three weeks ago, it was totally abandoned, super overgrown. 
and now it looks ready ready to go all right guys the stripes turned out amazing the sun came out you can see them really good yep i went to i went to the top bleacher and then look so okay all right guys let's get moving um uh we'll get driving here just follow me well okay where are we going i think we're gonna go to the high school okay to the high school actually you drive i don't know where the high school exactly is yeah I Matt, how did you like your first uh, your first day mowing with us? Your first job? Oh, that was great. Did you like you know. the Toro? Yeah, it was great. Maybe some. We should put some mud tires on it. You know. <laughs> yeah, you'll need some mud tires going through the infield like that. Yeah, maybe we can go and take it like down some off road trails or something. I'm not much of a mechanic, but yeah, that would be really cool to see. It has those those airless tires. Did you see those? Yeah, they worked yeah. good. Yeah. So really, you can't get a flat tire. But I think over time, eventually, especially if they sit in one spot for a long period of time, like the winter, I think they, cr they like, I want, oh, there's a lady they walking. Dry rot? Yeah, they dry rot, kind of, but then, like, maybe they, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm curious. I, I kind of gambled on it. They're a little more expensive, but I think over time, they're just going to kind of morph, and then they'll be, like, lopsided or not perfectly, like, not like a perfect, who knows? Oh, it's cool. Square tires. Yeah, square tires. So if we... Say, say you sat it for one spot for a whole entire year. I'm sure you're supposed to move them, which I'll do in the wintertime, too, so they don't have that. Ready to go? Uh, yeah. I'll go and help bolt, get the Kubota off. Oh. Yep. Perfect. All right, so this is the high school, I think. Pretty small parking lot. I think, yeah. I don't know if this is at exactly the high school. So this is it, Bolt? Yeah, in the bat. Okay. I hope we can get bat there. Yeah, we, we might need like a, a push. I don't have a push mower today. We do have weed eater, so we could always grab those. We should be. Or Where we can lift one you, above. Where's the back? The whole bat area. Oh, I see. I see. Ah, uh, okay. It's all fenced in. Yeah, except this one corner. Are you sure this is a high school, man? I never had a recess in Isn't high school. It, it's to have a high school sign right up here. Central school. I think it's Town elementary. School. Maybe. No, this is the high school because I remember always sitting in and being able to see this out the window. You get a real good view from the principal office window. Oh, you were always in the principal's office, huh? Right. See. Can I think we, we can. I think we can fit. I think we can fit. Sixty inch deck. Here, let me lay down. I'm sixty inches. Say, or... There's only one way to make it, and that's just to floor it. That's right. God, lift the chute up when you go in too. Yeah. All right. It looks like it's gonna be tight, but it looks like they're gonna make it from here. All right. I got that sliver done. Oh yeah. Perfect. They made it right in there. I was saying 60 inch deck. We do not have 60 inch decks. These are 72 and you don't even have to lift the chute up. So we are all good here. We have yet to get a property that is like too small for our zero turns. Maybe we might have too many zero turns on this right now, but hey, it's three is better than one, right? But it, it might be a, not really worth our time to have all three of us here, but at least it's fun. And we don't have many accounts today too. There we go, nice and easy around the park bench. So they were saying this is the high school. I think it's just a smaller school and it holds, I think it holds nine through, or maybe it's six through 12. And then there's there's kindergarten through fifth grade. I'm not 100% for sure on how that works. I know it's a smaller town, so they don't have a bunch of kids. It's not a huge school. There we go, nice and around the benches. I don't think we're gonna be able to stripe this like we did the baseball field, but it'll still look good. And this is our first contract with them. So we we didn't leave it like this. This is a bit more overgrown than I, I would have kind of let it get. But they said they just, the guy who used to mow it kind of bailed out on them. And so here we are picking up the slack. There we go, getting around. These benches are kind of bad. And then there's grass growing in the cracks of the baseball or the basketball field. I said baseball. We've been, hit, we've been mowing too many baseball fields, but the basketball court has some cracks in it. So it's... Uh, not in the best shape, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool they have a basketball court. There we go. We got to do quite a bit of weed eater work, too, getting around all the fences and stuff. Thank goodness it's a wooden fence. The thing I hate most are chain link fences coming up, weed eating those. You might as well just cut your string line because cause literally the fence does it for you. So there we go. Keep right along this line here, and we should be good. Those guys already got a bulk of it knocked out. All right, guys, looks good. We can just, uh, we'll get everything back up in, in the trailer. Bolt took my deer, and he already put that in the trailer, and then we we finish it up. Looks good, Matt. We can head back to the trailer. Okay. Here, I'll let you go first. All right, cool. I Initially, I thought we weren't going to be able to make it through, but we actually, we have plenty of room, so. There we go. Let's get loaded up, but it's been a busy day so far, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button like always. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys have any questions on how to do the own striping and my, how I showed you guys with the fertilizer, 
sprayer and everything. Hopefully, hopefully that helps you guys. If you want to link to that, let me know in the comment section. And, uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.